What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to the final episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Yes, finally, we're here. Alrighty, so whew, okay, so what to say here, guys? It has been a long and arduous road. Yes, I said that word. But we're finally here in our final episode. Now, mind you that this episode was recorded before the whole uh, Hoenn Legendary Pokemon because, well, you can't get those Pokemon without defeating Red first, which is kind of ridiculous. So, yeah. Final episode right here, guys. Anywho, in this episode, we're going to be taking on Red, the legendary Pokemon of Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow. We're going to be going through the Mount Silver Cave, and, uh, yeah, you're going to be needing a lot of stuff right here, like somebody that knows Rock Climb, and unfortunately for me... I had to teach one of my Pokemon Rock Climb. Now, the team that I'm going to be going with in this whole episode is the all of my Pokemon Fire Red team. Because, yes, they're all at around level 70s. It shouldn't be an issue. Now, the last time we were here in Mount Silver was to go capture uh, Moltres, which we did with Succession right here. And as you guys can see, they've added quite a few things here in Mount Silver. A lot of layers. You can actually find some pretty cool Pokemon. And as you guys can see right here... We have found TM76 Stealth Rock, and, well, I really do hate this, but we, 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 we kind of need to do this. We're going to be going through every cave, crevice, and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so let's see. We're going to be going right here. Make sure to bring a lot of uh, max repels, too. Here we found ourselves a full restore, which can actually help us in the, you know, in this battle right here. Again, a lot of these items that you find, kind of tell me. It really is. So, let's see. What, what what can I say about this whole game? Of course, it's one of my favorite remakes. Um, it really did a great job uh, filling out the blanks on some of the some of the trainers that we you know we've we've taken on that had no backstory, like Silver. Great backstory. Kind of wish that you know the kind of wish the the whole Celebi event wasn't in an, an event. It would have been it would have been easier because well, as you guys can already tell, there's no more. There is no more, uh, what was it called, uh, yeah, there, there, there's no more Wi-Fi or Pokemon events for, you know, Nintendo uh, DS and all that crud. So, yeah, we're gonna have to do it the, the cheating way and all that stuff, and I don't know why I did that, so let's go right ahead and move on ahead. And from what it looks like, they've made this quite, quite an adventure right here, so, yeah, let's go right ahead and get this. We got ourselves a Max Elixir. And I think throughout my adventure right here, I think I've only used, like, one one Max Revive, probably. So we're going to be speeding this through just to walk and uh, grab some more items. And here we have one of the areas, and here we are in, an, in a snowy path. And it looks like, to me, you got two choices. And I probably should have chose the other one, but okay, so let's see. Let's go right here. And here we grab ourselves a protein, which can boost up your Pokemon stats. And, well, that will go nowhere. So let's go back right here. And, well, let's see. Let's go right here. And obviously, every hole, giggity, every hole is meant for some place. And as you guys can see, you do need, you do need rock climb right around here. But let me check this area first. And there's nothing. This will take us to this portion. So I guess we got to use Rock Climb onto this last part. Again, Rock Climb, the most useless HM ever. And it looks like we got into the wrong path right here. So let's go right ahead and speed that up. And, well, let's see. Right up top. And there is an item right there. So I, I, I should go for the items. And let's see. It's probably a good reason why, you know, I did Pokemon Fire Red the way I did it. And especially before, you know, especially before, you know, all this game right here. We found ourselves a Dawnstone, and we can evolve our Togetic. But, you know, since this is the final episode and all that stuff, I think, I think we're pretty much good. And it looks like, to me, we are at the very end of this whole thing. Look at that. Okay, so let's go right here. For anything, found ourselves a Max Revive, obviously. And, well... We're here, guys. No music, just the wind. Let's go right ahead and meet our destiny. As you guys can see, 
Red is waiting for us. And we're going to be going with the level 70 Pokemon team that we got from Pokemon Fire Red. And uh, a little story, a little backstory. I remember playing Pokemon Crystal back when I was a kid. I was in disbelief when we when we could go to another region. And I was in, I was in so much more disbelief when we can actually battle Red. When I first battled this guy, it was a messed up situation he beat the tar you know he beat the you know the living you know what out of me and i had to do i had to use a legendary pokemon and all that stuff it was uh it was ridiculous so here it is guys let's go right ahead and take on us red dot 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 dot, dot. here it is Okay, so here it is guys pokemon trainer red the former champion of kanto and yes he has a level 88 freaking Pikachu. Yeah, that is gonna be messed up. Let's finish it with an earthquake, and as you guys can see, it does have Iron Tail. Oh my god, this Pokemon is messing us up right now. Holy crap. Okay, so here comes an earthquake attack. And just like every single Pikachu, it does have a very, very weak defensive stat, so yeah. This is gonna definitely mess up this Pikachu. Another, th another move this Pokemon has is Volt Tackle. That right there is probably one of the most powerful Electric-type moves with Recoil. And just like that, we defeat Pikachu. Bam! Smash it grows to level 72. And here comes the Hail. So let's gonna increase that. And well, of course, here comes Lapras. We're gonna be, we're gonna be going with Shocker right here. Alrighty. Shocker, how's it going? And here's Lapras at level 80. This Pokemon right here is another menace to society. It is very bulky. It does have ice type moves. And it will not be affected by this hail. So just, uh, you, you guys gotta defeat this guy pretty quickly. And as you guys can see, it is paralyzed. So that gives us an advantage. Here comes a blizzard attack. And... Ah! Okay, so the hail ke keeps on hitting us. Let's go with a discharge attack. Finish this guy off. Come on, Shocker. Finish him. You're a trifecta champion. Don't let this guy beat you. And there we go. That is another Pokemon that we've taken out. And uh, has literally given us a heart attack. And well, the hail keeps on coming. And here comes Blastoise. So, yeah, let's go right ahead and go with Shocker right here. Blastoise is at level 84. This Pokemon, also beefy, also strong, and can, can mess you up pretty quickly. And, well, it looks like to me... Finish it, finish it, finish it! Yes! Critical hit. Shocker is officially the MVP of this whole thing. Look at that! Shocker grows to level 79. Holy buckets. Okay. Here comes Snorlax. This Pokemon right here is... Yeah. This Pokemon right here. Let's see. Let's go with a summary. Let's see. Check its moves. Huh. I can do that. Okay. So let's go with Smoke. And uh, let's go right ahead and use Curse Attack right here. So as you guys can already tell, Snorlax is a very, very hard Pokemon to defeat just because of its, uh, its bulkiness. But if we put in a Curse, it will work out in our favor. Now, I just need to find a Pokemon that knows uh, Toxic. And let's see. Do I have a Pokemon that knows Toxic? Let me see summary. Check moves. Nope. Okay. I do have a Pokemon that knows Toxic, right? Let's see. Aerial Ace. Nope. Okay. Let's go with Smasher. Battle of the Fatties. Here we go. Let's go with Super Power. And this one is going to be super effective. Come on. Finish it off. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Go all the way down. Just go away. Yes! Critical hit. Smasher does it again. Alrighty. Okay. Okay, so we're doing some stuff right here. And here comes the hail yet again. And we're going to get healed up. And here comes Charizard. So this Pokemon is no joke. So we're going to be going straight for our man right here. Leonardo Da Vinci. And this is going to give this guy PTSD just because, you know, Leonardo. And, well... Let's go with the Surf Attack since it does have the choice specs. Here we go. Surf Attack for the win. Come on. Finish it. 
Oh yeah, and by the way, if you guys haven't noticed, yeah, the majority of this guy's Pokemon are at the level 80s, and good god, and, well, it looks like the hail is gonna, is gonna help us right here. And, yes, the hail is gonna help us. We have won, I am throwing out that peace sign. Suck it, Charizard. Alrighty, you got boofed. There we go. Okay. So Leonardo da Vinci kicking some butt, taking some names, and here comes a Venusaur. Now this Pokemon right here is this is the reason why I figured out about um, weather weather combos. Red loved to use freaking Sunny Day and freaking Solar Beam just to just to mess with me. So let's go with a Drill Peck. That's right. Let's go Tornado. You have won in the Hoenn region. You have won in the in the Kanto region. Time to win it right here. And oh my God, Venusaur. Coming out with a sludge bomb. That can't be good. And, well, let's see. Oh, wow. It took me out. It took me out. And here we go. Finish it off with a drill peck for the win. And just like that, Venusaur has been defeated. My Pokemon Fire Red team lives. That's right, Red. A new champion is born. Me. Again. Alrighty, okay. All right, king of the mountain right here. Woo! Alrighty. So, that's pretty much it. That's it, guys. We won. <laughs> okay. So, this is the end, guys. And I did it my way. So, Again, I do apologize for taking a month off, guys. You know, we, we, we did everything we did everything right when it came to Pokemon Platinum. And, you know, now you guys have uh, had a very, very good uh, time watching it. And it, it served me well because I was kind of feeling a little burnt out with this game. Didn't want to, like, feel completely burnt out and all that stuff. But, yes, we did it in, uh, in, in record time with this game right here. I'm so glad that we, we finally did it. We finally completed this whole game. And, uh, well, the next game, the next remake game, you guys already know. We're going to be going straight to the Hoenn region. And, uh, yeah, it's it, don't think that I haven't started on that yet. I I probably already started doing some stuff right there. And, yeah, we're going to be doing some, uh, some big stuff right there. Now that the 3DS is like, you know, we can actually use the internet for the 3DS and all that crud. Unfortunately, uh, the what was it called? Uh, the Pokemon, the Nintendo Store is done, so we don't really need it. All we need is the trade, and all we need is just to you know complete Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, which is the next game. So, yeah, very proud of the way this game has gone, guys. Uh, finished it in 70 episodes, and uh, well, if I'm missing anything else, it it's probably because it's not really that important. I know that there's some gym leader rematches and all that crud. We can do that some other time or or something like that, but I just wanted to complete this game with all the main games and all that stuff that, you know, we needed to do right here. So, yeah. No more. No more. No, no more of this stuff right here. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being supportive as always. Thank you guys again for supporting this walkthrough right here in its entirety. I will see you guys next time as we cross the Hoenn region into Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. I'll see you guys next time.